Hey everyone, so I had to do an at-home sleep study and this is the machine they gave me. And I just wanted to show what it was, what it looks like, and tell you about my experience because I already completed it. So first I had to fill out a patient questionnaire sheet. Then they gave me this and it was a quick five minute discussion as to how to use this. Uh, the batteries were already in it the technician he actually put it on me to show me uh, what proper placement would be of course every machine's probably going to be a little bit different and then i had to sign a paper that i was getting it and that was it so the whole process of explaining it to me only took about five minutes and then i left so i was told that i have to wear this particular machine for at least six hours it didn't mean that i actually had to sleep for six hours even though i did they said I had to just at least have it on. So I guess, I, I don't know what the reasoning behind that was, but I actually had it on for about eight hours. I think they want to make sure that you have it on well before you are sleeping. So what I personally did was I put it on, I think I fell asleep within about a half hour, 45 minutes. My little one <laughs> came to me. As I was trying to fall asleep, he had woken up. So, of course, I stayed wearing it. And I do wake up in the middle of the night sometimes. And I was able to wear it if you have to wash your hands. I just took this little thing off for a second. So, you are obviously able to move about. And I asked if I had to stay sleeping on my back. And he told me that it is best to try to stay sleeping on your back. But, of course, everybody sleeps in different positions. So I was told kind of just sleep however you want. And the next day I have to, which is today, I have to drop this back off where I got it. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you. Again, you can see it comes in this very, very sturdy black case. This particular one is the Philips Respironics Alice Night One is what it says. There's little cards here and look there's not even words it's very basic and one of the questions that I had was do I wear a shirt with it do I wear it under my shirt but as because that's a question I forgot to ask and I already left and whenever I called nobody was at the sleep lab but I just followed these instructions right here here so I wore it over my light shirt I figured t-shirt looks like he's wearing a t-shirt so I made sure I was wearing a light shirt and you can see, you just kind of put it on, make sure that this is attached, put the nasal cannula on, put the finger monitor on, and you can see, again, very, very simple directions. So let me show you this. I'm gonna take it all out. This is literally everything that came with it. Okay, so as you can see, it's all connected, but when I first got it, it wasn't. When I got to the sleep lab, the person did connect some things, and then whenever I walked out, it wasn't attached to me, although I was told some people like to wear it out of the building, <laughs> but I didn't. I They put it back in the case here, and I walked out. So here is the machine itself. It is so simple. You literally don't even have to press anything, at least on this machine. The back just has information, like a serial number for this machine, but this is literally it. Uh, there's a button here. I did not have to press the button whatsoever. The only thing that the button did, as you can see right here, well, let me turn it around. Right here are three buttons that are illuminated underneath. Let me see if you can get a better. I know right now it is flashing like an amber color because obviously I'm not wearing it. But when I pushed it and I was wearing it properly, all three things lit up green. It was to make sure that I had the finger sensor in. I don't know if you could see that, but that's the finger sensor one. This one, I believe, oh yeah, right here, to make sure that this machine was uh, clipped around my chest. And this one was to make sure I was wearing the nasal cannula. And all three of these were green when I just pushed that button real quick when I was wearing it properly. Otherwise, when you're not wearing it, you don't have to worry about this button. You don't even have to worry about this button when you are wearing it. Like I said, I just pushed it real quick, made sure they were all green when I was wearing it to make sure it was on properly and it was reading. 
So this part of the clip, the tech already had this plugged in right here because I think this probably detaches. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know if this side detaches because they had it already in. This side right here was out. Here is this. This is a really soft band. Let me go ahead and unravel it here. Okay, so this band is a really soft band. Right here it is adjustable. So you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. I was told to make sure it's snug enough so you know the machine is making sure it's reading your breath, which is your chest going up and down because that's what it reads, but you don't want to make it too tight. So it's adjustable. You can see there's these three in here. It was I just wanted to make sure it was straight. So when I put it on, I was like, make sure it's straight and it doesn't have any twists in it. They didn't say to do that, but I just felt better to make sure that this was smooth. Here's the other end that it clips into. You can see there's like a little contact right here. So as soon as you click it into the other side of the machine, which is right here, it starts reading. You see that in there? So I'm not going to do it now because I am already done with my study. You see, you literally just clip it in right here and you can see it locks in. And then it stays firmly against your body. This, the tech already had this in as well. This is just a nasal cannula. You see it's a thin blue tube. It's very, very long. So one thing, I have a bunch of gates in my house because I have a toddler. And when I had to get up in the middle of the night, you really want to be protective of this to make sure it doesn't get caught on anything because then it will just kind of rip off your face. <laughs> And that's fine. I mean, you could reattach it. Let me get this all unraveled here. Okay, so look. This is the nasal cannula that I had to wear. So these two parts right here went inside my nose. And this really long one kind of went around my top lip and pointed in towards my mouth. However, it did not touch my teeth. It's not supposed to touch your teeth. But yeah, like I said, these went in my nose. And it just goes right inside. It is a little bit annoying, but it doesn't hurt. It's really not that annoying. You know, I, the benefits of getting an accurate uh, test done were, you know, outweigh the, uh, the little annoyances. Like I said, that it's not supposed to touch your teeth. And she said, if it does touch your teeth, you know, just snip it slightly. But I didn't have to. I didn't want to do that anyways. And it just kind of sat right inside my lip. You can see it's kind of curved. You see? Okay, and now I'm going to show you my, the finger monitor. Okay, so this is the finger monitor. I had to wear it on my pointer finger. And at first I was like, oh, do, do I have it upside down? What, oh, <laughs> but what I did, I, this is how I wore it. I'm going to show you exactly how I wore it. You see how there's a little red light in there and the um, light's obviously coming from this. I put it in like this. And so the wire was on top. And that's how it was reading. And then I was also told to put a little piece of tape on top of my finger. Oh, here it is. This little piece of tape came with it. You see? And I put tape right here on my hand. So this would stay on. And then this right here, this says X-Pod. So I didn't have to do anything with this. I guess you can clip it on if you want to. This is obviously attached from, you can see the machine. And then it goes all the way to the finger, like a little oxygen sensor. So literally that was it. That is the at-home sleep study machine. I actually have done this before, but many, many, many years ago. And it's pretty much the same with the strap around your chest and the little box. It does look a little bit different. I'm sure that they've upgraded the machines since. 
But yeah, I had to do it a while ago, and I'm pretty sure I do have sleep apnea. Um, hopefully, I qualify for a machine. I don't, I don't want to have to wear a CPAP machine. However, I wake up feeling tired every single night. This has been pretty much my whole life, at least since I was a teenager. I wake up feeling unrefreshed. So having kids has nothing to do with it because I had kids when I was in my 30s. So I just feel so bad waking up every morning. I've just gotten used to it. Not feeling refreshed is kind of just what I'm used to. Um, when I did do this before, because I have done it in a lab before and I have done at, an at-home sleep study before, I was told that I do have sleep apnea and then I have where my breathing goes low. I think it's called hypopneas. I don't know much about this yet. If I, if I do have to get a machine, I'm going to learn a lot about it and I'll probably post more videos. Um, but I was told that I didn't have it enough times or it wasn't severe enough to qualify for a machine. What I was told back years ago, and maybe it's changed, I think that I was told I had to have it at least five or more, a sleep apnea, right? Five or more times per hour in order to qualify for a machine. And I think I had it like two or three times per hour. So yeah, I mean, if I'm not going to wake up feeling horrible and I, I always have a racing heart during the middle of the night, I wake up with a racing heart and it's just, I just feel horrible and my doctors know about it. And I was told that I probably have sleep apnea. It's probably gotten worse and that's probably why. So that's why I had to do this at home sleep study. So I don't know how long it's going to take for the results. But yeah, I just wanted to show everybody out there what an at-home sleep study machine could look like. Please uh, share the video. I think this video really might help people, so I want to share it. Please like the video and comment your um, experience with at-home sleep study machines. Also, thanks for watching.